right, first graders, welcome back to another day of Hegarty. Let's get ready to do our letters and our sounds. A, A, apple. B, B, bat. C, K, cat. D, D, dog. E, E, ed. F, F, fun. G, G, game. H, H, hat. I, I, itch. J, J, jug. K, K, kite. L, lamp. M, M, man. N, N, nut. O, ah, octopus. P, P, pan. Q, U, qu, queen. R, R, rat. S, s, snake. T, T, top. U, ah, uh, up. V, v, van. W, w, wind. X, x, box. Y, y, yellow. Z, z, zebra. Nice job. Today we're gonna do the same thing we did yesterday. I'm gonna give you a nonsense word. That means it's a made up word, but it's going to rhyme with a real part of your body. So I want you to think of a word that would rhyme with lummock and it's part of your body. What's a word that rhymes with lummock? Good job, that would be your stomach. Think of a word that rhymes with nears and it's part of your body and it rhymes with nears. Good job, that would be your ears. Now see if you can think of a word that rhymes with zoes. Good, you might have said nose or you might have said toes. Those both rhyme with zoes. All right, we're gonna decide which uh, beginning sound is at the beginning of both of these words. So all you're gonna do is dribble the beginning sounds, shoot it in the basket, and I want you to just think which is the beginning sound. You don't have to do a thumbs up or thumbs down. All the words in each pair are going to have the same beginning sound. You just have to tell me what that is. So let's try these two, ready? Bad, bug, b, b, bad, b, b, bug. So the beginning sound was b. Let's try six, seven. Dribble it, s, s, six, s, s, seven. The beginning sound was s, and two more, not, nice, n, n, not, n, n, nice. The beginning sound was n. Mm, very good. All right, now I want you to get your choppers ready. I'm gonna chop out the syllables and then I'm gonna slide them left to right. I want you to tell me what the whole word is and see if you can chop it with me. Ready? For T. 40. Helpful. Helpful. Object. Object. Unpack. Unpack. Erase. Erase. Good job. Now I want you to stretch out these names with me. So I want you to think of the last sound. So you're stretching out the whole name and then punch out the last sound. And remember, like I said yesterday, if you wanna keep practicing this when we're done, you can try it with your family's names, with pets' names, with friends' names, or classmates' names. Try to stretch out their whole name and punch out the last sound. So let's try the name Cohen. Ready? Cohen. Nice job. That's the n mm sound. Let's try the word, the name Landon. Ready? Landon. That's the n mm sound again. All right, let's try the name Wesley. Ready? Wesley. And that's the E. That's a hard one. Since it would be Wesley. So we're punching out the E sound. And let's try one more. Let's do the word the name Cameron. Ready? Cameron. So that's the N again. So today I used a few names from my class. See if you can think of some names that you can practice with at home. Now I want you to put your hands back into your choppers. I'm going to say the whole word and I want you to chop the syllables out with me. So if I say market, we would say mar get. Say the word carpet and chop it. Car pet. Say the word velvet. Chop it. Velvet. Say the word contest. Chop it, contest. Good, and remember like I've said before, make sure you say that whole word before you chop it just to make sure that you're saying and hearing it correctly. All right, now I'm gonna put a syllable in each hand. I'm gonna change one of the syllables, either the first one or the last one, and I want you to tell me the new word. Say the word stopping, stopping. Change stop to shop, the word is shopping. Say the word biggest. Change big to large, the word is largest. Say the word swivel. Change 
swift, to try, the word is travel. Say the word dragon. Change dry to wag, the word is wagon. Nice job. Now we're going to have each of our syllables in our palms, but we're gonna clap it together. So if I said tie, add ger to the end, you say tiger. Say gray, add v to the end, gravy. Say doc, add tur to the end, doctor. Say plan, add it to the end, planet. Nice job. Now we're gonna do the opposite. Instead of adding syllables and putting them together, we're gonna have both our syllables ready and we're gonna take one away, either the first one or the last one and tell me what's left. Say baby, without bay the word is b. Say happen, without ha the word is pen. Say flavor, without flav the word is or. Or we would say it er if we said the whole word flavor. Say letter, without er the word is let. So that time I took away the last syllable, the other times I was taking away the first one. So you just have to watch my hands and try to mirror that. Okay, let's count the words in these sentences. Are you ready? Will you play with us? Will you play with us? Five, and that's a question. You're asking somebody that question. So that would have a question mark at the end. Be kind to your friends. Be kind to your friends. Good. And last one, school is a fun place. School is a fun place. Five. Good job. I'll see you back here tomorrow.